let's chat about the templates we're going to use for this week's assignment. You're going to log into Blackboard in class 11. The very first thing you'll see is the item uh, exercise template files. All you're going to do is click on each of these to download them to your computer. They go to wherever your files get downloaded to. Okay. Copy these parts. So we'll copy and then we're going to save them to a folder. You can save it wherever you want. Just know where it is. We're going to need to find it in a minute. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay. So I'll make a folder called SolidWorks Templates, which I already have right here. Double click. I'm going to put those two files that I just got from Blackboard in my folder called SolidWorks Templates. Again, you can name it or put it wherever you want. Just know what it's named and where it is because we're going to need it in just a second. The next thing we'll do, we'll go to SolidWorks. So we'll open up SolidWorks and we're going to tell SolidWorks where those files are so that we can use them when we start a new part or drawing. So we're going to go to Options. The very first tab, System Options, it should default to this. Scroll down to File, Locations, and I'm going to add a file location right here. So this is where you've got to dig up your file. So I saved it on my desktop. I called it SolidWorks Templates. So this is where it's a little funny. Okay, so double click that thing. There's nothing in here, right? That's okay because you're just selecting a folder with templates in it. So you won't see anything right here. That's fine. Just hit Select Folder. Okay, now I'm just gonna hit OK. The location is right here. SolidWorks will look when you start a new drawing or part for the templates. So, okay, it's going to ask me a question. Hit yes. It'll ask me two more questions, one for each file. Hit yes to both of those. Now, when I go to make a new part, I've got an extra tab right here. So, SolidWorks templates. The tab is the name of the folder. So, you can name it. Again, whatever you want. You could call it uh, HVCC templates, whatever. You can scroll between the tabs, so you could have a bunch of templates for ISO drawings, templates for ANSI or ASME drawings, anything you want. You can have, I don't know, a couple of them. I don't know if you can have a limited number of tabs, but here they are. If you don't see this, go, you might be on this screen, okay? Go to Advanced, and then scroll through the tabs. The first thing we'll do We'll take a look at ANSI part template. So I just double click it. What this does is pre-select all these options. So if you remember when we go to document properties, dimensions, this has everything as ANSI already. You never have to go back in and change it. That's always going to be good as far as the dimensioning standard goes. So I'll exit out of here. Let's talk about the drawing template. So this is called B size. You can see a preview right here. I'm going to open it up. I've got a title block for you. I'm sure everybody recognizes this. It's set up in a particular way. The drawing number area, so where it says draw five, is the uh, file name. Okay, that's going to show up here. You can't change it. Drawn by is going to take the name of your computer. So if you're using your personal computer, uh, that name will show up there. If you're using a school computer, it will be your first initial and your last name and maybe a number behind it. What you can do, I'm going to just double click this title block. You can change the drawing title and you can change the class. Okay, And we can talk a little bit more later about how you can add or delete from here, but this is good for now. Uh, the date will be the last time you opened the drawing. Okay. So other than that, it works like a regular drawing. Again, it's a B-size drawing. So 11 inches by 17 inches. So you can print this full size on normal ledger paper from a you know, fairly normal printer. Okay, so that's it for the templates. Check out the next video. We're going to put these into action and do an assembly drawing.